The Navy requires all active duty troops to be vaccinated for COVID-19 by November 28th. Lieutenant John Barrow is in charge of immunization at the Naval Hospital in San Diego. He says he's not expecting a rush. Full Navy, uh, Navy-wide, is 96% fully vaccinated, 99% with one dose. Um, I can speak to the command here. Uh, we're doing better than the Navy as a whole, uh, and as we should, we're medicine. A steady stream of sailors and civilian staff continue to line up for shots at the Naval Hospital, but the surge came early, right after the vaccines became available. Our average in January was somewhere between seven to 800 a day. Okay. Um, and then it, it, it slowly has decreased to 300, 200, and now we're just about 150 to 200. Barrow says less than 100 people among these 6,000 people who worked at Balboa applied for a medical or religious exemption. The medical staff answered a wide range of questions from sailors. It was a tracking device for the government to track you, um, sterility in male and females. Those are the, the top ones that we had to show that there was no evidence to support any of that. Good to see you guys. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin announced in August that all troops and Pentagon employees must be vaccinated for COVID-19. The Navy has announced a policy for discharging sailors who don't receive an exemption. The Marines have the same November 28 deadline. They say only 79% of their troops are fully vaccinated, 91% with one dose. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.